Today I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on Chinese brush painting and we are going to be painting bamboo. So before we paint bamboo, I'm going to give you a, some quick tips and we're going to run through some practices. These are the supplies that you'll need. You will need a Chinese paintbrush. The good thing about these is they soak up a ton of the ink and the way that they paint is a lot more fluid and different than other brushes. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these. If you have money to invest in some supplies, you can buy an ink stone and an ink stick. So this is compressed ink, and all you need to do is add water to your ink stone and rub your ink stick in it. So whatever you're gonna be using for ink, whether it's an ink stone, India ink, or black watercolors, a jar of water as well for watering it down a little bit. And I am just using some printer paper. Since I'm using India ink, I'm making sure that I'm using two pieces because my India ink will probably end up going through. So let's just go through a few of the techniques. Make sure you hold your brush upside down like this. If you hold it up this way, right side up, then the ink's gonna run down onto your hand, onto your arm. The first thing we're gonna do is just practice making bamboo leaves. And how you do that, make sure you just soak your brush up in your ink, your watercolor, whatever you're using. So I'm using the edge of the jar to pull my brush to a nice point. Try to be as fluid as you can. I think the quicker you do this, the better it works out. And I just want you to practice doing some bamboo leaves. So press and pull, press and pull away. And if your brush kind of starts to get bent like that, just dip it back in your paint and reshape it. And I just use the side of my container. Make sure you get a nice point again and then start again. Go ahead and practice doing some leaves. And the next thing I want you to do is practice doing a bamboo trunk. You can do it a few different ways. You can either get your paintbrush, dip it in the ink, and go sideways, like this. Or, rinse off your brush in the water so that you don't get ink on your hands. And then what I want you to do is use your fingers to spread the hair on your paintbrush. So you kind of fan it out like this. And then what I like to do, I still have some water on there, I'm just gonna dip the corner into my ink. I'm just gonna practice on my towel. So now that it's spread and you dipped it in your ink, then you can just go one, two, three, four. Okay, now this one we're going to try to get lighter on this side than the other. So what we're gonna do is rinse it off. Make sure there's plenty of water on there. Spread the bristles and then just dip one side of your bristles. This is the hardest thing is to tell if you're dipping it just in one side. Okay, and then you're just going to go one, two, have a little too much water on my brush, three, four. So if you do it that way, up here it works a little better, down here I had a little bit too much water, but you should get a nice gradation from light to dark if you dip one side in the ink and one side in the water. Okay, now after you've practiced a few bamboo stalks, I want you to try to do this bamboo stalk. Now this bamboo stalk goes from light to dark, and it's a little bit more tricky, so rinse your brush off in your water, and then what you're gonna do is fan out the end of your brush again, and dip one side in the ink. And this is tricky, so I'm actually gonna hold my ink up like this. I just wanna dip the very edge of my paintbrush in it. I'm just gonna touch it to my paper towel, get some of the water off of it and then we're just going to try a bamboo shoot using that method one two three you can do as many of those as you want so you kind of get a nice light to dark you can always come back in and make the edges darker so i'm going to do one more so i'm going to fan out the edge and dip the corner in my ink and i'm going to dip one side in water And here we go. This is just something I learned from one of my professors in college. I don't know if this is an actual like Chinese paintbrushing technique, but this is what they showed us how to end the bamboo stalks. And I want you to practice this. Get a nice point on your paintbrush. This kind of marks the end of one bamboo and goes into the next. So it's just kind of a, kind of like an S. Bamboo shoots, but 
probably better to match them. Grab your paint on your brush, get it to a nice point, and go ahead and just put some leaves on one of these. Let's say this one's behind and I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush in the water to get it a little bit lighter. And you can put some lighter bamboo leaves on there. So then we kind of have one in the distance and one in the forefront. So now you have the techniques down. So you could do this on your own. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a really quick little insect. So let's paint a dragonfly. I do not know if this is the official way of painting it. This is just the way that somebody taught me. So I'm sure there's many variations on this. So what you do is you just do two dots. So do two dots and you just do a long body. And then you use the same technique we used for the leaves to make the wings. Okay, so I hope that tutorial was good, but again, I'm gonna just make sure I say this. Go and watch real Chinese painters if you wanna learn how to really do this. This is just very, very introductory. So keep practicing and have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.